You may have seen reports claiming South Koreans are up in arms over Seoul-based US Ambassador Harry Harris's moustache, apparently because it reminds them of the style of Japanese leaders during Tokyo's 1910-45 colonial rule. American media outlets have weighed in, with CNN describing criticism of Harris as bizarre and implying the focus on the ambassador's Japanese ancestry is down to Korea's own lack of racial openness. Now, apart from the fact that foreigners with moustaches don't normally cause problems here, it's important to see that concerns about Harris are deeper and connected to Washington's rapid change of attitude since President Donald Trump took office in 2017. Since then, we've seen the US take a much tougher stance on issues like how much South Korea should be paying for stationing American troops and refused to sympathize when South Korea was hit by Japanese trade restrictions last year against the background of still raw colonial era wounds. Harris, a former head of the US Navy's Pacific Command, has obviously promoted his government's interests since he took up the ambassador post in 2018. Critics say, however, that he's meddled in Seoul's affairs by, for example, telling reporters recently that South Korea should consult with the US before resuming exchanges with North Korea and possibly triggering sanctions, to which Seoul's presidential office responded with regret and defended its sovereignty. The perception of Harris as rude contrasts with the warmth shown towards his two predecessors as well, Mark Lippert and Kathleen Stevens I'm referring to, both of whom made very public efforts at taking Korea to heart, even though Lippert was physically attacked while based here. It was never going to be easy for Harris serving under Trump, but perhaps it would have been easier had he continued the personal efforts of those two who came before him.